If you're anything like me, you want to go from solopreneur to agency owner so that you can make more money. The thing that I discovered is that I can take that money to buy back my time and have more freedom as a creative to do the things that I really want to do and not be a slave to the solopreneur role. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. There are three core principles that I want to teach you guys today that you need to know and you're going to have to grow and expand to in order to become a successful agency owner because you can be an agency owner, but that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be successful. Right now, if you're a solopreneur, which many of you guys that are watching this video are, you are doing all the things in your business. You're wearing all the hats, sales, marketing, finance, uh, operations, fulfillment, like you're doing all those things. You're collecting money, you're sending out invoices, you're doing proposals. That's a lot of work for one person. And you're having to spend all your time on other areas of the business that are lower revenue generating tasks. If you focus on generating revenue and even doing just the design work, those two things, you're gonna be able to get all that time back to make your business a lot more money and you're gonna be able to surround yourself with other people. My personality type, I love doing life and business with people. I wanted to surround myself with more people and having an agency was just a natural kind of reaction from that. That was the result of by having an agency, I needed to go bring in more people. So the first part that I want you to understand is you have to become a better person leader or just become a leader in general. If you want to be an agency owner, you're going to have to lead people, a chief marketing officer, a COO, a CFO, a, like all these different roles that happen within agencies. You're going to have to be able to lead these people as the owner of your agency, as the CEO of your own agency. So you're going to have to learn how to delegate. You're going to have to learn how to document. And you're going to have to learn how to actually handle things in a proper way as a good leader. So this is the first piece that I really want you guys to take seriously is think about yourself now as a CEO or as a business owner, not a business operator, but a business owner. And you have to bring in, document all the things that you're doing right now in your business, and then be able to delegate and train people how to do those things yourself. So that's one of the first steps you really need to know. Now, there's a shift that's gonna happen from you building your own personal brand as a solopreneur. You might have, an, have a graphic design business name, but you're going to need to scale that up and really get specific of what type of agency you are within your brand. So you might be a creative agency, you might be a web design agency, you might be a graphic design agency, you might be a logo design agency, you might be a motion design agency. These are all different kinds of agencies. So you need to be able to find your niche and really refine your brand to who you are from that agency perspective. So once you're able to bring in the right people into your agency to handle some of these other tasks that are lower revenue generating tasks, that's also gonna require you to make more money to cover that overhead. That overhead can be really counterbalanced and improved upon by just productizing your offers. Going from solopreneur to agency owner, you are going to be making a transition from being a service provider to a solutions provider. What is the problem inside of the business that you are solving? How can you fix that with the services that you offer? So now you're selling an outcome versus just an hourly rate service. When you do that, these outcomes, depending on the types of clients, which we're gonna talk about here in a minute, is gonna be worth more to some businesses than others. And so once you're able to productize your offer and say, hey, this is my VIP branding day that I do, that's gonna get you from really just not having a clear vision, a voice, a strategy, a message, right, to having something that's very clear, that's a $7,500 day for me. I would have never imagined 15 years ago, I would have been able to charge $7,500 for one day for just my time. That doesn't even include doing any design. That's about having the right client and selling the right client. But I productize my offer with my VIP branding day or my branding blueprint or my marketing blueprint. These products have allowed me to scale and grow my revenue significantly from a consulting perspective. And then when it comes time to actually fulfill on the strategy side that I do, I'm able to charge more money because the types of clients I have have bigger problems. The last piece of this is your clients. Many of you that are solopreneurs are working and finding deals on Craigslist or Fivers or in your communities, in your town, people that are working local mom and pop businesses. More often than not, this is the general rule, I'm, saying there, I'm not saying there aren't exceptions, but the general rule is those businesses are what I call pond clients. You're fishing in a pond. What's in a pond? Seriously, what's in a pond? Bottom feeders, guppies, freaking catfish, like bottom feeders. The, really the clients that you need in the very beginning to build that reputation, to build your portfolio, but you need to be thinking about how you can go and get lake clients and go and get ocean clients. These are really the types of clients that you want. The ocean clients are like LinkedIn and TikTok and Facebook and Elgin and wetip.com, right? And then you have these lake clients that are maybe big contractors and uh, big energy 
you know, installers and, and service providers and lawyers, things like that. Those late clients are usually great clients. You want to try to stay away from the bottom feeding pond clients in the very beginning. So your clients are going to change when you go from solopreneur, because that's what you're building your foundation as, to start to kind of take on more reputable businesses that are doing a million, five million, 10 million, and, and then above from that, like LinkedIn's hundreds of millions of dollars, right? So you just have to start thinking about your business and the types of clients that you're working with and start to try to find bigger and better clients. As you start to get into these bigger bodies of water that have bigger fish that can feed you for more time, right? When you're fishing, the goal is to try to have a nice, delicious meal. These types of lake clients are gonna feed you for a lot longer than the pond clients are. And this is where you can start doing recurring revenue, recurring services, and you can start really solving big problems for companies that are worth five figures and six figures. So something you need to be thinking about, these are really the three key areas. It's just making sure that you understand that as an agency owner, you need to start surrounding yourself with people and building a real brand around what it is that you do, what is your superpower within your agency. You need to start thinking about your pricing and productizing your offers and going from a service provider to a solutions provider. And then the last thing is you need to start focusing on getting away from these pawn clients, these little itty bitty clients that just use you when they need you and they don't go on some sort of recurring thing all the way up to having a monthly subscription where they're spending five, 10, 15, $20,000 a month or more to work with you. So hope this helps you understand how to go from solopreneur to agency owner a lot better. If you have any questions or you need any help, check out the Instagraphics Pro Network. We're a whole community of creatives and designers just like you. We're all trying to level up together. So come and check us out. Make sure you fill out all the forms and we'll welcome, we'll welcome you in with open arms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, keep looking up.